This is an overview of our senior design project where our project was to grow soy plants indoors hydroponically. So just an overview of our tent here, we have a four by eight growth tent to grow, grow six soy plants in. We'll go to an overview of our light. We use the next light 420H model. Just an array of LED lights here that was low energy and designed specifically for hydroponics. Now here you can see our drip tubes that are going to feed our soybeans hydroponically providing the nutrient solution. And then here's a smart plug we used to monitor the power consumption of the tent and fans like you see here. And then this tent had nice features of vents at the top and bottom to allow good airflow. Now coming to the back side of our tent, we can see the tube here that takes the drainage of excess nutrient solution back down to our reservoir. And we can see our pump here, which brings the nutrients to our plants. And then over here at our sensor board, this sensor board records all the relevant information of the nutrient solution. And then as you can see here, this pump provides more nutrients, more nutrients to the reservoir as necessary. And here we are mixing our nutrient solutions. It starts by mixing it in two parts. Our part A is being mixed here. Now over to our part B, you need to mix them separately or else they won't dissolve correctly. Then finishing it off with our part A mixture. And once these solids have both dissolved completely within our nutrient solution here, we can mix those up and we will mix them in the same container together and then pour them back into our nutrient dosing system. Here we can see the Things Speak website where we have used a database to store all of our values that we've recorded with our sensors. Our values you can see here are our conductivity on the top right, the pH on the top left, and then the temperature of our nutrient solution on our bottom left. Then switching tabs, you can see the small web page we built to send nutrient values to our sensors. So if we connect to it, we can enter in a value here so we enter something like 6,000 quick, we can send that value over to our nutrient dosing system, disconnect, and now that value will be saved to our system. This has been a short overview of our growth tent to grow soybeans indoors hydroponically. Overall, the system has done a great job of recording the energy usage and automating the nutrient dosing system for these plants.